Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make apple pie with canned apple pie filling. So this is re the really the same as the blueberry pie. We're going to use two cans of the pie filling, and you can use whatever brand you'd like. I used the one that said it was caramel apple pie filling. I thought that sounded really good, um, but regular apple pie filling is fine. Uh, mine was the Lucky Leaf brand in case you're looking for it when you go to the grocery store. And I just put the two cans into a bowl and then um, I added a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can also use fresh and just give that a really good mix. And then you're gonna get your pie crust ready. So I'm just using store-bought store pie crusts, and so I am carefully unrolling them. I did get a little tear, I'm trying to, trying to fix that. <clears throat> and I'm putting one pie crust in the bottom of my pie plate. And then once I get my pie crust in there, I'm going to um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a fork and make some vent holes in the bottom of the pie crust. This is just so that the pie crust doesn't like puff up and um, <clears throat> really mess up your pie. Then I'm going to add the filling. And now I'm gonna unroll my other pie crust to make the top. Um, so you can do the top for an apple pie a couple different ways. I did a lattice top again. I don't know why, I guess it's because I'm just a glutton for punishment. But you could have just taken this whole entire thing and slapped it on top and kind of squished them together and cut some vent holes in the top and called it good. Um, you can do a lattice top. Um, you can make, if you wanted to make like a crumble with like brown sugar and butter and that kind of thing. You could have made a crumble. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do, to make a top for an apple pie. I think that some people even like don't put a top on their apple pie, which I personally have never seen, um, except for like pictures on the internet. Um, you know, the strange things that I Google, like what kind of tops do people put on apple pies? Um, but anyways, so that's how, um, those are the different ways that you can top your apple pie. <laughs> Um, and then I put some milk on top of my pie crust. I use milk as an alternative to like an egg wash. It works just the same. You can use milk, you can use an egg wash. Um, I think you can use butter, you could use evaporated milk, um, whatever you'd like. And then you bake that at 425 for 40 to 45 minutes. And there it is. If you want to see more recipes like these, check out lovesanddishes.net. If you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we do have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Sporks, and you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Monday through Friday, and you can follow us on Facebook at Loves and Dishes for more. Thanks for watching.